Dog breeding is a big business in the United States. Breeders can earn thousands of dollars every year selling puppies. But as WANDI team reporter Doug Wolf reports, the lives of those dogs can be miserable. Doug? They're called puppy mills. Dog breeders selling hundreds of puppies, turning big profits, while the breeding dogs live in sometimes horrible conditions with little human interaction. We call them our special needs dogs. Kathleen, Precious, and Chief. They are loving Pomeranians who have lived most of their lives among 60 other dogs producing puppies. We originally took in 17 of them out of an original group of 58. They were recently rescued and are now being cared for at Decatur's Homeward Bound Pet Shelter. This is actually the start of their new journey, is how we feel. This is, um, this is what we do. You know, this is, this is why we're here. The Humane Society says there are at least 10,000 puppy mills in the United States. Less than 3,000 are licensed by the Department of Agriculture. Many dogs live in horrid conditions. Females are bred every time they come into season. Um, many times cages are stacked on top of one another. In downstate Hamilton County, a breeder is facing felony charges after killing a half dozen of his dogs by beating them with a metal pipe. The Pomeranians at Homeward Bound are from a breeder that went out of business and now need new homes. They're, they're doing very, very well. Actually, a lot of these, considering where they came from, a lot of them were really fairly well adjusted. He would be a great uh, companion for a family. I think he would do a little bit better with maybe older children. Each of the dogs has been spayed or neutered. The Homeward Bound Pet Shelter is a non-kill facility. They always have a great selection of both dogs and cats in need of a new home. For the I-Team, Doug Wolf, WAND News.